Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to use the product database inside of Jungle Scout in order to help you find profitable products to sell on Amazon. This tool is perfect for those of you who have no idea what you wanna sell because it gives you the critical data you need to validate which products have high demand and low competition. I'm gonna take you through three simple steps to narrowing down a product to sell. As part of that, I'll also be giving you five specific characteristics to look out for that makes for a profitable product. So let's get started. Step one, select categories. So what we've done is recatalog Amazon's products in our own database with filters that are user-friendly for sellers. Let me show you how to use it. So first up, select your marketplace, then the categories that you'd like to search in, select however many you'd like, but these are a few that I'd recommend staying away from if you're just starting out. Any electronics categories as they have a lot of moving parts and a higher chance of things going wrong, try to keep your products simple. Also grocery and gourmet food, really anything that goes in or on your body could be a higher risk. And finally, clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Here people tend to be more brand loyal and less likely to purchase from a no-name brand. On to step number two, determine product characteristics. Next, you've got product tier. For beginners, we recommend standard size products. Oversized products are larger and heavier, more expensive to ship, and Amazon also has some restrictions on how many you can send in at a time, making them overall a little more complex. So we recommend small and lightweight products to begin with, and that's standard size. Then the type of seller indicates if the product is being fulfilled by Amazon, fulfilled by merchant, or sold by Amazon themselves. If you don't check the fields, it's going to search through all of them. Now onto your filters. The first field I'm gonna show you is price. We'd recommend no lower than $18, because the profit margins become quite small below this number. The next filter is really important and that is sales. You wanna make sure that there's actually demand for the product that you wanna sell and that's represented by sales. So we'd recommend at least 300 sales per month, which works out to be about 10 sales per day, which is a good number to shoot for. You also have revenue, which you can filter below that. Now, while you want to have high demand, you also wanna make sure that you have low competition. And the way that you gauge that is by the number of reviews. So here we'd suggest looking for a maximum of 50 to 100 reviews. Some other filters that you could use include average star rating, and that's where you would look at products that sell well despite having a low average star rating, which gives you the opportunity to improve upon the product itself. Then you have LQS or listing quality score, which tells you how good the product listing is with one being a poor listing all the way to 10 being a great listing. Here you could look at products that sell well despite having a low listing quality, thus giving you the opportunity to improve upon the marketing of your product. Here you can filter products based on their date first available. You can either select one of our preset date ranges or enter in your own dates. You have the option of including or excluding keywords if you're trying to narrow down a particular niche. We found that the best results come from keeping the keywords fairly broad and not putting in too many when you're including keywords. You can exclude as many as you like. A good example of excluding keywords might be COVID related items. Now, you don't need to use all of these filters at once, but play around with different combinations. If you create a set that you like, you can save the filter set to come back to it later. Or over here, you can load a preset, including a whole bunch that we've already created for you. And finally, step number three, analyze opportunities. So now let's hit search. The total number of results is shown here. You can decide how many listings you want to display per page, and you can also download the results as a CSV file to view later on. Over here, you can decide which columns of data you'd like to display and sort by any of these columns ascending or descending. 
If there are multiple variations of a product, you'll also see that here. If you click on this arrow, you'll see all the different variations for that product listed individually. If you click on the ASIN, it will take you to Keyword Scout so that you can discover which keywords it ranks for. Clicking the Amazon logo will take you directly to the listing on Amazon. Here you can see the category, any variant differences, as well as monthly revenue, sales, and the price. The two numbers below the price are the net amount and the fees breakdown. Clicking the first brings up our profit calculator. Now this is a really powerful tool. With it, you can test any sales price, input the cost of the product to calculate how much profit you would receive if you were selling that product. And remember, don't forget to factor in that other big expense, shipping to the Amazon warehouse. Being able to quickly see the profit margins for different prices is incredibly handy. The second number here gives you a full breakdown of the Amazon fees. Now, as you scroll to the right, you'll see lots of other valuable data points, such as the number of reviews, the listing quality score, date first available, and the average star rating. You can also view the product dimensions and weight. We update all the sales estimates regularly, but if you wanna know it down to the very minute, then just click here on refresh product data. Once you've found a product that you like, you can add it to the product tracker to verify it further. For products with multiple variations, you can either add all of them to the tracker at once or select the variations individually if you prefer it that way. And that's how you use the product database. If you follow the steps outlined in this video, you'll be well on your way to begin generating a list of profitable products to sell on Amazon. Now go ahead and try this out for yourself by clicking the link down in the description to sign up for Jungle Scout. Did you know that Jungle Scout offers way more tools than just the product database? And all the tutorials are located right here in the playlist. Make sure you check out the next video on how to use our Jungle Scout tools. And we wish you all the best with your product research.